You're right, guys. Welcome to the vlog. This is Monday. We just finished a very good girlfriend's sister wants to bang me vlog. So a little vlog. That's it. Look at this little that multi, live stream, it? multi, multi, multi focus. Look at that. I'm out. Like yeah. the Elsa gate and that. Yeah. Elsa gate. Yeah, mate. But yeah, no. Nah, so we're gonna do a video on that. Probably make a Kevin Spacey joke. Cause that'd be good. I was gonna like do do the intro as like like the ghost of Jimmy Savile like possessing YouTube. Jesus. You know what I mean, that'd be quite funny. You know, just like oh Jimmy, get out of YouTube, you can't go back to hell. Ian Watkins. But you know. But nah, it's not good. Like the, the search algorithm is being a bit hypocritical at the minute. It's like, oh, what's that? You want to make a joke about drugs and stuff and swear? No, kids won't like that. But if you type in kids, the first thing we will suggest is fucks other kids. Really makes sense, YouTube. Great job. Cunts. What's the word? Deranged. Oh, I'll just find it. To be fair, mate, Alex Jones. some of the frogs do look gay. The turn of freaking frogs, gay! All shows users profoundly disturbing child sex results when they search okay. for how to videos, and that's coming up as well. You just type in how to change a tire, how to sail a boat, how to tire shoelaces, how to plant tulips, how to sell your bike. No, that's not what you get. How to have sex with your kids and then a bunch of other vulgar searches are the first thing you get. The truth is out there. But yeah, yeah. mate, Justice League was fucking shit. Well, it wasn't shit. It was all right. Like I said, six out of ten, right? But was, it's it, the was it six out of ten, though? I'd say it's Probably generous, five. isn't it? Yeah, oh. five. But I mean, it's the Justice League, therefore it has to be an eight or a nine. It has to be because it's the Justice League. So if it's not, if it's subpar, like I said, it's a perfectly fine film. Yeah, That's it's, where it's yeah. gone wrong. Oof. You know, because the Avengers wasn't fine, was it? But then the Avengers spent, you know, lots of solo movies, you know, creating their fucking universe, whereas DC are just rushing to the finish line, and it's just like, well, Aquaman was shit. Cyborg was just like, shit. The Flash was funny, but not that funny. You know, some of his jokes were a bit flat. Batman, they just, they just lightened it up too much. You could see, you know, I like the dark tone of fucking Superman vs Batman, whatever the fuck it was. I really liked how dark it was. So the fact that they just blatantly just tried to make it light-hearted and that just ruined the fucking film. Oof. Do you know what I mean? Like, fucking... <sighs> Still have the Flash as comedy re comic relief because he is a bit like that in the comics, but you don't need to have Batman, like, be all fucking... PC. He got anything to open up for the vlog? She has. Oof. Mother, afternoon. Oh, you done shop, mate? Oh. You're on the vlog, say hi. Thank <laughs> you, guys. <laughs> right. Guys, I just woke up. It's snowing. Jesus, Miguel, it's fucking snowy. Oh, look, it's me. 
Oh, look, it's me as a fat little year seven. <laughs> <coughs> What's up, sports fans? You may have noticed over the weeks, months, or years that you've been around the channel, I like hats to show you my hat collection. Okay, so we're going to kick off with a hat that I bought not long ago. Uh, it's my favourite band at the moment, and to be honest, it's just an awesome hat. It's it's the Don Broco hat. Okay, it's, it's Don Broco. It's a play on the PlayStation thing, and I must admit, I thought about robbing this for some Dirty Rhino merch because you got the D there, and then rather than the B, you can just have the R in the background. And that'd be pretty sick for some merch. Let me know, know down in the comments if you want that merch. I like the training hats. I normally wear them backwards, but obviously on chest day, for example, you can't lay back on a bench with the peak at the back. So I've got this nice Under Armour hat. I like it. It's nice when you have the hood up. It's also good. When I'm in the gym, I don't really like to be spoken to. <laughs> I like to just get on with my shit. So I tend to have my hood up and my headphones in. So you have your little peak at the front. Like no one could see your eyes. No one's going to fucking talk to you. They just probably think, is he going to start whipping out an Uzi and shooting everyone in a minute? This next hat I bought off my cousin Luke. Uh, he was having a little bit of a throw out and uh, I was always fond of this hat back when we used to be in the Slam and Gen and the Cloud Atlas days. It's a Rebel 8 uh, hat and he was like, dude, you can have it for X amount. I won't reveal how much. Um, but yeah, so I got it off him and it's a Rebel 8 and I like it and it's a really cool hat. Spinning some vids. Hat that is both worn quite a lot for training and been in quite a lot of videos is my physique um, apparel. My favourite type of hat, as you can see, are the ones without the bit here. So it's just like goes material all the way across. See, so yeah, I've got this one. It's obviously been worn a lot because it's lost its shape. But yeah, physique apparel. I bought this when I was a sale on. I found it through Instagram. Took a picture with it on and they they uh, they liked the, the picture. So basically famous. Got a couple of Vans hats, uh, red and black and blue and black. Um, they are the same type of hat, but uh, obviously different colours. Um, I haven't worn these in a video, um, but I do wear them around the house and stuff. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll start. So I do love Vans. Um, I do wear a lot of Vans stuff. I do have some more Vans hats actually, um, but yeah, I just never got around to wearing these yet, but I'm sure they'll make an appearance soon. Now this next hat, you can see that I've trained in a fair bit, because it actually has, I'm disgusted to say, <laughs> has my sweat marks on it. See all this like white here, that's actually sweat, I know that is disgusting. Um, I do need to throw this in the washing machine, but it's a Dusseldorf hat, I, I like this hat a lot. I use it a lot, but I do need to <laughs> to wash it soon. That's quite disgusting. But yeah, it has some value to me. It's sentimental kind of thing. But yeah, so it's my Dusseldorf hat, or as Lozzie likes to call it, my uh, Hitler Youth hat. I just have two of the same hat. Um, I like, like I said, I, I like the full backs. Um, I got a few tightless hats because I used to play golf, um, and this one kind of dropped its shape. And I liked it that much that I got another one. And you can see how much it lost the colour and stuff. Apologies, I'm looking in the viewer thing for this bit because obviously I'm just sort of looking at the hats and stuff. But yeah, so this is actually the same hat. This is very well used. This one not so much. But like I say, it has the the bit of the front, so like you can't see your hair or anything like that. Same hat again, but in white. Nothing crazy. Just my sightless hats for golf. And Batman. Got a Batman hat. Um, Never really wore this one, but I do like Batman. This one you've seen a lot, it's my Vans hat. Uh, it's been in a hell of a lot of videos. Um, I believe it was actually in the uh, prep guide, but that might be incorrect. Very well worn and uh, one of my favorite hats. Another Vans one, one that I don't wear as much. It's more of a foam kind of front, this one. Uh, it has this weird, where is it? What did I pull it off? Oh, oh there it is. It's got this weird like rope thing that goes along the rim. But yeah, it's a decent hat. Just a nightcap. Just a nightcap, I train in it. I wear it in some videos. I wear it on some of the streams. Lozzie tends to wear this one a lot. Beanies, um, I, when I was going through my hat collection, I actually found this, which is quite awkward, because this is my ex's. Uh, um, it's a Pursue Fitness beanie. Yeah, I didn't didn't realize. I forgot I had that, I must admit. Classic tea cozy. I uh, bought this when I was about 16. It's got fucking 
blue stripes, you probably wouldn't find me wearing that again, to be fair. Classic deer hunter, which considering it was snowing today, this will probably get some use soon. Probably be worn in the Christmas prep guide, so stay tuned for that. This beanie I got in a loot crate, it's quite cool. It's uh, Punisher and then reversed. It's it's Daredevil. Um, I, if I ever wear it, I wear it on the Punisher bit, but haven't worn it in about a year. But then again, it's not really been beanie weather, has it, you know? Classic black beanie, just, just, yeah. This next one, guys, the sentimental value on this, right? I bought this when I was 14 years old, yeah? Uh, in Norwich, in, in Chapelfield, in, in the shopping mall. And um, yeah, it, it, it sounds stupid, but this, this long grey overstretched beanie means a hell of a lot. I know it sounds stupid because this is, um, but it's 14 years old, like I've nearly had this for 10 years. Yeah, that's how, that's how long I've nearly had this. And uh, I got it from River Island. I've worn this a hell of a lot. I've worn this a hell of a lot and I'll give it to my firstborn child. <laughs> and lastly, doesn't really count as a hat, but it's it's a snud. And uh, I don't know. Someone paid us a tenner on stream once to put it on. They said put the snud hat on, so it's a hat now, you know. Someone's paid a tenner to see it on my head, so it's a hat. Um, but that's my hat collection. It's been a pretty quiet week, um, in a sense. Uh, but obviously I had that big Marvel and Disney debacle which I kind of got a little bit angry with and went off and we're still disputing that and actually the day after that came out they posted on the reddit their main like subreddit all the people that have reacted to their videos and they're like celebrating it so I really don't know I'm hoping it's a bot this this done that and it's all going to be resolved because if not it's just hypocritical bullshit but we're not going to talk about that anymore. I don't know if you all, you all saw that Trump retweeted some Britain first fucking shite. I, just, it's, it's scary now. You know, he is the leader of the country. And when 10 Downing Street and Theresa May said, you know, this isn't on, you're out of order. He replied by saying that there's nothing wrong with America. We should stop focusing on him and look at the Islamic radicalization that is going on in the United Kingdom and that the US is, is absolutely fine. And you just think, you know, do you know what, mate? Your country is the one that is having mass shootings every other week. Your country is the one with a fuck off death toll due to, uh, you know, guns and all that kind of crap. In the grand scheme of things, I think we're fine. And, and you're the one that, that's a bit fucked. It's just, it's just a scary time. And I, was op I wasn't optimistic when he became president, but I thought, you know what? He's gonna shake things up. You know, he's not some corrupt politician. Maybe, maybe there might be something positive comes out of this and it's just getting darker and darker. And the fact that he's doing all this fucked up shit and he's doing so much of it that it's just become the norm and that people are kind of immune to it now and they just sort of think, oh, what's he done today? Oh, Jesus, I wonder if he'll do anything worse tomorrow. Oh, he has, well, he'll probably, he'll probably top it tomorrow and he's, he's topped it again, that's great. Guys, I did it, I ordered it. I ordered my weekend ticket and my early birds. Duty Rhino will be there for the full weekend, confirmed Reading 2018. And I have to say, I am hyped. And you know what? The reason that I got it straight off the bat without any headliners even being announced was because of Sunday this year and meeting you guys. And I tell you what, if it's even gonna be half as good as that Sunday over the course of the weekend, I'm fucking there. And that's exactly why I bought it, you know? So. Uh, if a couple of bands go that I really like, happy days, that's a bonus. I'm just looking forward to the Sesh Gremlins camp in Orange. If anyone wants to camp with us, you are more than welcome. Bring all your friends. We're just going to have a mega camp in Orange. Sesh Gremlins camp. Everyone getting fucked up. It's going to be fucking awesome. The vlog is going to be sick. It's just going to be the best weekend. We want to make it the best Reading ever. Yeah, that is our mission. And like I say, if the music's there, the music's there. If it's not quite to my taste, it's not quite to my taste. But the sesh, it's gonna be fucking mental. So yeah, I've got my ticket, guys. Buzzing. 
just fucking well out of you. Let's, I can't wait. I cannot wait. 2018 is going to be a crazy year. Lozzy might be coming to Tenerife with me for a week, um, and if he does, our plan is, because we're doing all-inclusive, is to do like an all-inclusive holiday prep guide and just film loads out there and try and get some uh, Doody Rhino abroad kind of comedy content, which would be really cool, really cool. I've also got my fitness business um, that is coming to fruition very quickly and it really kicks off in January, and we may actually be doing a YouTube channel for that so as soon as I know more because um, we're in a bit of a copyright minefield at the moment that we're trying to get everything sorted everything tied down so nothing can be copied or you know replicated as soon as I know and as soon as it's all filed through and all good then I'll let you guys you know in on what's been going on behind the scenes of that and uh, and yeah it, it, I'm really looking forward to that and hopefully it'll be a fantastic additional revenue stream which is great because that kind of revenue can be pumped into the channel um, and so that's just that's just awesome and with something like that it, it would free up a lot of time for me and if it frees up a lot of time for me then obviously I can put more time into this which is the end goal um, and it'll also get me out of pet to home um, which I kind of want now see you on the Monday web show if you have any stories any anything any advice you need any embarrassing sexual stories any music festival stories any stories from the sesh email them in we'll 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 dissect it and help you out and have a laugh as we always do you've got the christmas prep guide to look forward to that's that's going to be the next big prep it's going to be great it's going to be awesome we're going to go we're going to go hard on it and i uh, hope you enjoy so there we go guys like share subscribe love you very much see you very soon bye, -bye for now